you've been able to watch Jordan Maxwell's most recent interview with Project Camelot. Um, he talks about obviously we live in a solar cult. He also mentioned, and one of the reasons I specifically wanted to get this interview is he used a term that you used, and he said the light at the end of the tunnel is an oncoming train, not oncoming train. And um, he said that there is the biblical second coming is going to be played out, and it's all very evident in these images of the rising sun. Do you know anything about that? Is the rising sun's coming up behind various logos, and Barack Obama used it behind his sort of inauguration profile poster. And um, he says that he believes that this is a symbol that something's coming, that um, it's possibly a play out of the biblical second coming. Well, uh, so I guess there's a number of things there. Um, first of all, I've, I've been highlighting in my books for years and my presentations this uh, recurring image of the rising sun. It's nothing uh, new. Um, the the uh, Illuminati uh, secret society bloodline network has been using it for a long, long time. I mean, if you look at um, the headquarters of the 33rd degree of uh, Scottish Rite of Freemasonry in uh, Washington DC, just down the road from the White House, uh, it's like a, an Egyptian, Greek, Roman type pillared building. And behind the pillars is a massive depiction of the rising sun. Uh, George Washington, the first president of the United States, and a high Freemason, of course, he had a, a famous uh, sun chair, which, which had the, the rising sun. You look over the door of Downing Street, um, and you'll see the rising sun. Um, when you look at it in, in close-up, look at uh, NBC, with it made it look like, like a bird, but it's actually at the rising sun. So it's, it's um, a theme uh, that, that can be charted back a long time. I know Jordan has been highlighting that. Um, and, and, and so the fact that they're using it now is, is kind of a par for the course. <laughs> I've got great respect for, for, for Jordan and um, the work he's done uh, uh, and the work he does and the, the, the uh, immensely um, uh, important stuff about symbolism because that's the language they talk in. Uh, but we, we, we do differ from what you've told me in terms of what the light at the end of the tunnel is. Yes. Um, my view is that we are in for some very, very bumpy years. We're now entering uh, the, 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 the hurricane, if you like. Uh, but my, my view very, very strongly is that this control system's coming down. It's not coming down tomorrow. It, it, it's going to for a few years it's going to seem like all is lost, but it's coming down uh, because um, to, 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 to understand why it's coming down, we have to understand the, the nature of this reality. It appears solid, it appears physical, it's just an energetic construct. The prime level, the prime state of this reality is vibrational, right? Um, it's, a, it's a vibrational construct and, and we are decoding vibrational information into electrical information which the five senses then pass to the brain and the brain is constructing this uh, apparently solid reality, it's just a holographic illusion. All this stuff is, is provable, I mean the Matrix movies went into it and uh, the, the illusory nature of this reality and, and, and in its basic theme the Matrix movies were absolutely spot on. And it's at that level that this is changing um, and, 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 and going to come down. Um, it's, 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 it's difficult to, to talk about it at the moment because there are things that I'm going to bring out in this new book which um, I don't want to talk about yet because I want it to come out as one unit. But let, let me put it this way uh, for now. This is a virtual reality universe. Um, it's like a, a, a fantastically uh, complex or not even complex but sophisticated advanced computer game and the, these human bodies they're like uh, like computers, they're body computers that's what I call them and they allow consciousness, our awareness to interact and interface with this reality just like we go on the internet through a computer so we go on what I call this cosmic internet through the body computer. And when uh, the body dies, the, our awareness, the real self, withdraws from the body. And that's what people are experiencing when they have near-death experiences. 
So mm -hmm. when you look at uh, what science says about the, the, the mass matter that exists in this universe, uh, they, they talk about the fact that the vast, vast, overwhelming majority of mass matter in this universe we don't, can't see um, because the five senses are only accessing a tiny frequency range we call visible light. Uh, and outside of that, we, we can't see it. Uh, it exists, but we can't see it. It's like a, a cat will react to empty space, or empty space to us, because the cat's got a wider visual frequency range, and therefore it can see things within this universe that we can't see. So ima imagine you've got the, uh, the virtual reality universe as a whole, <clears throat> and then something's hacked into it in the same way, in principle, as the Chinese government firewalls off Chinese computer systems so the Chinese cannot access enormous tracts of the internet that the rest of us can access. But we've, we've got stuff that's firewalled off from us that we cannot exactly. access. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, putting it in, in the simplest terms, this virtual reality universe in its entirety has been hacked into. And when you see all these um, ancient accounts about the manipulation of human genetics and interbreeding with non-human entities and all that stuff, that's part of this hack. Um, because this energy field that we're experiencing now goes on and on and on and on out in frequency terms. But I and we can only access this bit because that's all this body computer will access. It's like, um, this is like a television channel, a holographic television channel, if you like. And, and because this body computer is tuned to this channel, this visible light frequency, that's all we can access. Um, so if you want to,